One of the things that I encourage teachers to do in order to really promote conceptual knowledge is to take the word problems that you're going to be teaching anyway and do a couple of things different with them. The first thing that I highly recommend trying is instead of teaching all of the procedural math and then finishing with a word problem, start your class with the word problem so that the students see exactly what it is the situation that you're trying to solve throughout the course of the class. So start by putting the word problem up and then unpacking it throughout the class period. Instead of just teaching all the math and showing how it applies to the word problem, flip that and take the word problem and try to solve it throughout the course of the day. The other thing that I recommend, which has been a fantastic addition to my class, is take the word problem that you're going to teach anyway, but rewrite it with all of the numbers taken out. That way, the class, the initial class discussion, really just revolves around, okay, how would we solve this problem? What information is it that we need to know? And how are we going to know if that answer is even reasonable? And so that way the discussion really revolves around what is it that we need to do in order to solve this problem instead of having the students simply want the quick fix solution where they can apply some formula to the numbers that are involved in the word problem. Let me give you an example. I was working with my students the other day and the word problem listed three people and said that they each arrived at the chocolate factory at different times. And so they gave the time that the first person arrived and how much later the second person arrived and how much later the third person arrived. And the student said, oh, this is a division problem. And I said, why in the world would you think it was a division problem? And they said, because you see, you said they each arrived at the chocolate factory at different times. And our teacher taught us that any time you see the word each, that means you have to divide. What we need our students to do is really make sense of problems and persevere in solving them and to stop, take a step back, and see the problem in its entirety and the situation at hand. So what I was able to do was I was able to rewrite that problem with all of the numbers taken out. And instead of focusing on what we, something that we needed to do with the numbers, I simply asked the question, in what order do they arrive? And so the students, instead of worrying about who got their 15 minutes earlier and things like that and actually dealing with the specific numbers, all they had to do was conceptualize who arrived first, who arrived second, and who arrived third. Once we figured that out, I took the words, excuse me, I, once we figured that out, I took the numbers, I put them back in, and the students were easily able to solve the problem because they understood the concept of what was happening.